Home violence, violence against women, violence against children, is the most important factor of a lot of evils of our society. Drug, prostitution, delinquency, criminality, all stem somewhere to these sort of problems. If you interview people in jail, if you interview people who are drug addicted, if you interview women who are in prostitution, this theme is going to come back all the time. Indeed, it is very difficult for an individual mother or father who has been raised in, an, in a situation, in a family situation, where there was no real love, where there was neglect, where there was no cuddling, where there was beating, where there was sometimes sexual assault, when there was alcoholism around, where there was violence around the other members. It's very difficult to forget about all that when you have your own child. You have that baggage. It's part of you. You've been raised like that. It's what you know. It's what the example you have. And you don't have another example. And it's very difficult to actually not translate that baggage, that experience that you have had as a child, into how you're going to deal with your own child. And these people who have had these difficulties need an enormous amount of support to teach them, to show them that there are other ways, there are better ways to have a child and to raise a child in a family. Prenatal classes, when the young couple is pregnant, and only the woman is pregnant, but really the pregnancy is a, is a couple issue, can teach them these things to a certain extent. From the pregnancy being very attentive to the way the fetus is developing and being manufactured. So we are, it's not just being, being prepared to give birth, it's making a human being. So they need proper food, you need no alcohol, no cigarette. You need to try to avoid medication if you can, because all these will affect the manufacturing of this human being. And after birth, we continue to provide this nurturing environment to the child. And if we could have a generation of children raised, all of them, with love, compassion, cuddle, gentleness, in the home, we could get rid of all these drug problems and prostitution problems and criminality. 95% of that would disappear. And I hope this little, this video will help a little bit. There is no global solution. There are lots of little solutions coming here and there and everybody has to do his or her own little part here and there and then things will improve.